Five Fairy by P.V. Drum. Once upon a time, in the enchanting realm of fairies, where love and magic intertwined, a tragic and mysterious tale unfolded. In this realm, there were five fairy tribes, each with their unique powers and customs. However, a dark curse plagued them all, for every fairy possessed a dormant bloodlust that could only be quelled by finding true love before the arrival of spring. In the heart of the fairy kingdom, nestled within the ethereal whispering woods, resided the majestic fairy king, Willows. With his regal presence and benevolent rule, he was beloved by all fairies across the realm. But little did anyone know, a sinister shadow lurked in the corners, waiting to unveil its treacherous plans. One fateful night, as the moon bathed the kingdom in its silvery glow, a series of strange and unsettling events unfolded. Bloodied bodies of fairies were discovered scattered throughout the kingdom, causing panic and fear to spread like wildfire. Whispers of a dark force permeated the air, casting a shadow over the once harmonious realm. Amidst the chaos, the fairy king himself fell victim to a mysterious poisoning, weakened and on the brink of death. Willows's life force flickered like a dying ember. Desperate to save their beloved ruler, the fairies embarked on a quest to find a cure, hoping to undo the wicked enchantment that had befallen their king. In the search for answers, they encountered a young and courageous fairy named Aurora. With her fiery red wings and a heart full of determination, she possessed an unwavering belief in the power of love. Aurora joined forces with a wise elder from the tribe of Moonstone, named Orion, renowned for his vast knowledge of ancient remedies and enchantments. Together, Aurora and Orion delved into ancient texts and sought the guidance of mystical creatures, determined to find a cure for the fairy king's affliction. As they uncovered long-forgotten secrets, they discovered that the poisoning was an elaborate plot concocted by a rogue fairy seeking ultimate power. With time running out, Aurora and Orion rallied the fairies from all tribes, setting aside their differences and focusing on their shared love for their king. United in their cause, they set forth on a perilous journey to confront the rogue fairy and save the realm from darkness. As they faced trials and dangers, Aurora's unwavering spirit and Orion's wisdom guided them through the treacherous path. Along the way, they encountered mythical creatures and ancient guardians who tested their resolve and loyalty. They braved enchanted forests, crossed treacherous rivers, and climbed towering mountains, all in their quest to reach the source of the poisoning and bring an end to the curse that threatened their king and their very existence. Meanwhile, back in the fairy kingdom, the power-hungry rogue fairy, known as Morgana, reveled in her wickedness. With each passing day, her dark magic grew stronger, and she reveled in the chaos she had caused. Unbeknownst to her, the fairies were closing in on her whereabouts, guided by a mysterious prophecy that spoke of a chosen one who would bring about her downfall. Finally, after many trials and tribulations, Aurora and her companions reached the lair where Morgana resided. The air crackled with dark energy as they confronted the rogue fairy, prepared to do whatever it took to save their king and restore peace to their realm. A fierce battle ensued, as Morgana unleashed her malevolent powers, determined not to be defeated, but Aurora, Fueled by her love for her king and her unwavering belief in the power of good, fought valiantly. With each strike of her wings and each surge of magic, she weakened Morgana's hold on the kingdom. In a final, climactic moment, Aurora managed to strike Morgana with a powerful beam of pure love, dispelling the dark magic that had plagued the land. As Morgana's powers waned, the curse that had befallen Willows and the bloodlust within all the fairies began to fade away, with the curse broken. The fairy king regained his strength, his life force restored by the love and determination of his loyal subjects. The fairies rejoiced, their realm once again bathed in love and harmony, as the healing power of love triumphed over darkness. And so, the fairy kingdom thrived, with Willows reigning as a wise and just ruler, and Aurora celebrated as a hero who had saved the realm from the brink of destruction. The bloodied bodies that had once haunted their dreams were now a distant memory replaced by a future filled with hope, magic, and undying love. As peace settled over the fairy kingdom, a new thread of complexity wove its way through the hearts of our heroes. Pixie Jane, with her mischievous charm and enchanting lotter, had always held a special place in Vance Viper's heart. Their friendship had blossomed over the years, and Vance had secretly hoped for something more. Yet, 
Fate had a different plan in store. Pixie Vanessa, with her ethereal beauty and gentle nature, had captured Vance's attention. Her delicate wings shimmered in the moonlight, and her voice carried a melodic quality that stirred something deep within him. As they spent more time together, Vance found himself torn between his long-standing affection for Jane and his newfound attraction to Vanessa. Unbeknownst to Vance, both Jane and Vanessa had also developed feelings for him. Jane, with her playful spirit, had always been drawn to Vance's adventurous nature. They had shared countless adventures, their lot echoing through the forest as they explored hidden nooks and crannies. But deep down, Jane yearned for something deeper, a connection that would transcend friendship. Vanessa, on the other hand, had admired Vance from afar for quite some time. His bravery and kindness had captured her heart, and she found herself longing for his presence whenever they were apart. Their conversations were filled with whispered secrets and shared dreams, building an unspoken bond that Vanessa hoped would someday become more. As the love triangle unfolded, tension began to simmer beneath the surface of their friendships. Jean, with her mischievous nature, couldn't help but notice Vance's growing interest in Vanessa. Her heart ached with jealousy, and she found herself questioning whether their friendship had ever held the potential for something more. Meanwhile, Vanessa tried to bury her feelings for Vance, fearing that pursuing him would ruin their friendship and jeopardize the delicate harmony of the fairy kingdom. But as love often does, it refused to be ignored, and she found herself torn between her loyalty to Jane and her desire for Vance's affection. Caught in the midst of this emotional turmoil, Vance struggled to reconcile his feelings. He valued both Jane and Vanessa deeply, and the thought of hurting either of them tore at his heart. As he grappled with his own emotions, he sought all as in the beauty of the fairy kingdom, hoping that clarity would eventually find him. In the end, it would be their shared experiences and the strength of their friendships that guided them through the maze of their emotions. They would learn that love is not always straightforward. In their love and unity, Vance, Jane, and Vanessa discovered a power that transcended their individual selves. Harnessing their combined magic, they embarked on a daring quest to create a magical dragonfly that would become a symbol of their love and strength. Using their knowledge of enchantments and the mystical energies of the fairy kingdom, they worked tirelessly to infuse a dragonfly with fire-breathing abilities. Through their joint efforts, they brought the fantastical creature to life, its wings shimmering with hues of gold and crimson. With their newfound ally, the magical dragonfly, they set out to protect the fairy kingdom from any threats that may arise. Its fiery breath was a force to be reckoned with, scorching anything that dared to harm their beloved realm. Word of their powerful alliance spread throughout the fairy kingdom, and the fairies, enchanted by their love and bravery, rallied behind them. Together, they formed a formidable force ensuring the safety and prosperity of the fairy kingdom for generations to come. Vance, Jane, and Vanessa ruled with wisdom, compassion, and fairness, always keeping the well-being of their subjects at the forefront of their decisions. Their love and unity became a beacon of hope, inspiring others to embrace acceptance and understanding in their own lives. For a thousand years, they ruled the fairy kingdom, fostering an era of harmony and prosperity. They nurtured the land, protected its magical creatures, and cultivated a society where every fairy and creature felt valued and cherished. As their reign reached its end, Vance, Jane, and Vanessa passed on their legacy to the next generation of rulers, ensuring that their love and wisdom would continue to guide the fairy kingdom towards a bright and harmonious future. Their story became a legend, whispered among the fairies as a testament to the power of love, unity, and the endless possibilities that lie within the human heart, and though their time as rulers may have come to an end, the impact of their love and the magical dragonfly they created would forever be etched in the annals of fairy kingdom history.